Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos uh, dealing with SPSS statistics and more importantly the, the application or the, uh, the running of specific procedures uh, through SPSS. Uh, we're going to concentrate on so was running a linear regression uh, or generating a linear regression model but more importantly uh, we're, going to we're going to generate a multiple linear regression model. Uh, by a multiple linear regression model uh, what I mean is a regression model where we have a single dependent variable in this case the dependent variable that we're trying to understand or we're trying to predict is a an individual's intention to stay within their organization high values on the intention to stay variable meaning that they intend to stay within their organization low values indicating that they are not they're not as inclined to stay within their organization and more importantly I suppose it's, it's a signal for intention to leave okay? that's the variable we're trying to understand and we're going to try to understand this variable okay or predict this particular variable by looking by using a number of independent variables more than one independent variable uh, the first independent variable we're going to we're going to use is job satisfaction so the question we have is, does job satisfaction uh, influence uh, an individual's intention to stay within the, within an organization? Okay, so we have job satisfaction. I also want to take into consideration a person's gender and also a person's age. Okay? Now, what's very, very important in relation to multiple regression okay, and regression in general is that there is a number of characteristics uh, that are independent uh, variables must adhere to. Uh, the first characteristic being that the independent variables uh, must be continuous, okay, which means that they're measured on an interval or a ratio scale of measurement. Within SPSS, that's defined as a scale variable. Okay, that's the first thing. Uh, or alternatively, uh, the independent variables uh, they must be dichotomous, okay, which means they've got two levels associated with them. For example, the gender variable here is dichotomous. There's only two possibilities, two levels uh, associated with this. You're either male or you're female. Okay. So that variable matches, their, uh, I suppose, their conditions. It is dichotomous. Job satisfaction is a scaled variable. It's a continuous variable, so that matches their conditions. But I'd also like to include age in the mix in relation to regressors, yeah, in relation to independ an independent variable. But unfortunately, our age variable, if I go into variable view, okay, our age variable has three levels of measurement associated with it. Okay? Now, it's important, as I said, that we only feed in continuous or dichotomous variables uh, in relation to when we're specifying our independent variables. So what I've done in a previous video uh, is I've done a video uh, that shows us how to take a, a nominal or an ordinal variable that has more than two levels of measurement and how to create what's known as dummy variables, okay? Where these dummy variables uh, are dichotomous, okay? And depending on the values of the dummy variables, they cover all possibilities in relation to the level of outcome of our, of our ordinal or nominal variable that has more than two levels of measurement. For example, I've got three categories in relation to age, zero indicating under 30 years of age, one indicating between 30 and 50 years, and two indicating 50 plus years of age. And what we've done is we've created two dummy variables, and I've done this in just in a previous video uh, called age dumb one and this dummy variable here has two levels of measurement associated with it. The first is zero, meaning you're not under 30 years of age, and one indicating that you are under 30 years of age. So this variable is actually a measurement of whether you're under 30 years of age or not. One indicating you are, zero meaning you're not. That's the first dummy variable. See, there's two levels of measurements, now dichotomous. The second dummy variable, uh, dumb two, age dumb two, has two levels. The first meaning you're not between 30 and 50 years, and one meaning you are between 30 and 50 years. Okay? So, I can only ever be one or zero on either of these particular variables. Yeah, okay? Actually, if I'm one on age dumb one, it means that I am under 30, which means I have to be zero on age dumb two. If I'm one on age dumb two, it means I'm between 30 and 50, which means I have to be zero on age dumb one. But the other possibility is that I'm zero and zero on age dumb one and also on age dumb two, which means I'm not falling into either of them categories, which by default for us would indicate that you're a person that's 50 plus years of age. Okay? So this is our sort of our base case, this 50 plus years of age. So zero on age dumb one and also zero on age dumb two would be indicating that the person is 50 plus years of age. So it's important that we have dummy variables. 
And actually, when you're creating dummy variables, which I've done in the previous video and I've sort of specified it, depending on the levels of the number of measurements, the, le the number of levels of measurements associated with our ordinal or interval variable, in this case, is three. Well, the number of dummy variables that you require to create mutually exclusive groups, okay, uh, is one minus the number of level of measurements. Uh, associate with our ordinal or nominal variable. In this case, it's three. One, three minus one gives us two. So there's two dummy variables will capture all of this information, and that's what we've done here. But anyway, this video is about generating a multiple regression model. Okay, 